Emotions ran high inside and outside an Omaha courtroom. A West Omaha daycare provider changed her plea in a felony child abuse case. Today, Lynn Rowe pleaded no contest to hitting and shaking a four-year-old girl in her care. The judge then entered a guilty verdict. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. The little girl's parents say they wanted her to admit guilt. Reporter Megan Stewart spent the day in court. She's live with the details. Megan. Craig and Jen, the Myers say Lynn Rowe was, has watched their daughter since she was a toddler, and now they're finding it hard to trust anyone. An emotional morning inside the Douglas County Courthouse for Al and Kelly Myers, as the woman who watched their young daughter for years pleaded no contest to felony child abuse. Well, I'm sick to my stomach right now. I, I just... I don't know, it, it was terrible seeing her. The Myers want the maximum three-year sentence for Lynn Rowe, a former West Omaha in-home daycare owner seen in this video, appearing to hit, punch, and shake the Myers' daughter. We made sure to position herself so she'd have to walk right by us, and she's uh, wiping away her tears and said, I'm sorry. Rowe had nothing to say to reporters as she left the courthouse. Her lawyer also denying an interview. I don't at this time. But, you know, this is every parent's you know, worst nightmare. Douglas County Attorney Don Klein says the video evidence was undeniable. You know, without the video, you might have some injuries to the child, and maybe somebody saw it and would testify to it, but there's always still that question. Uh, the video obviously uh, makes it very solid from the standpoint of we know what happened. I don't have anything to say to her at all. I mean... What, what she did and I, yeah, I don't care to ever talk to her again. The Myers say their daughter is adjusting to life in a new daycare while they wait to see how much time, if any, Roe will spend behind bars. And Roe is scheduled to be sentenced in January. Reporting live here in the studio, Megan Stewart, 3 News Now.